Hey, just a quick video on how I do uh, my bucket feeders. I do the five gallon feeder, um, basically it's a five gallon bucket and I fill it up with sugar syrup. Usually I fill up the bucket about half full of water, mix in uh, some thymol, a little bit of probiotics, a little bit of honey, just as a scent attractant so they can find it. Um, so it don't waste any time. And then since my yards are about an hour away, I will put a solid lid on top of the five gallon bucket. When I get to the site, um, fortunately the five gallon bucket, um, it's got the solid lid on it. So if it spills over in the car or the truck or even jostles around, it's not gonna spill any of the sugar syrup. Then when I get to the site, I actually change the lid. So the lids that I do, I'll take two lids. I'll just tape them back to back to where the, they're actually touching here in the middle. And then I use like a one thirty second drill bit and I'll sit here and I'll drill them all the way around the side, about an inch apart. And then in between each one of those holes, uh, coming forward about three quarters of an inch, I'll go all the way around drilling holes. Um, everything's about an inch apart, so that way the bees aren't bumping e into each other when they're taking the syrup. Uh, they can probably get that pretty quick. The entire tongue will fit through that hole. When I flip it up, or uh, it does, you do see a bit of a shower. So you lose about maybe a cup of sugar syrup until the vacuums created inside and then that's it. I have had a, probably, a, it was two large hives take down a five gallon bucket in about a week. So um, right now uh, I'm getting ready to take five, five gallon buckets out to I think about 12 to 14 hives. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how many are, are out there right now. And so with the thyme all, I can leave it out there and <coughs> it might be thyme all, I don't know. I can leave it out there and um, don't have to worry about it going bad, um, getting uh, lots of mold and mildew in there. And if you read some uh, reviews and history on Thymol, it's a pretty amazing disinfectant. But it also, <laughs> if you accidentally put too much in there, it ends up being medicine. So you're actually treating the, the bees for Nosema. And then there is a pretty awesome uh, way to treat the bees for um, mites using some Thymol uh, strips. That's a, there's a commercial product out there. There are ways to make your own. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, uh, time wall is uh, pretty caustic, but uh, as far as Nasima and going just to make sure that your buckets stay clean and the, the syrup doesn't make them sick, I think it's a pretty amazing uh, additive. And there are decades and decades and decades of use in commercial beekeeping that uses it. So that's my tip for the day.